Happy New Year, friends. <laughs> I pray that wherever in the world you are right now, that the next two minutes are a blessing to you so you can be the blessing to those the Lord has put in your life today. So I've been thinking, I took a few weeks off because I was sick and it was the holidays and anyway, but I've been thinking over the past couple weeks about all the things that I'm hopeful for in this new year. And I know that some people do New Year's resolutions and some people give up things and some people just um, have hopes that they express um, and other people have hopes that they just keep quiet in their heart. And um, I was reading Romans in verse uh, chapter 15, verse 3, and it reads, May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in him, so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. And I was thinking about what hope is, and um, and it was interesting, like it, like it always happens. I'm reading a devotional. Um, I was reading Alistair Begg's devotional. And right in the beginning, I don't know if it was... Uh, day one or two, he was talking about hope and how God is our hope for two reasons. He says God is our hope because um, he actually generates hope within us, right? When we become Christian people, if we're sons and daughters of the Lord, when we believe in him, he gives us his Holy Spirit and his Holy Spirit actually brings hope into us. So like hope itself is not something, hope and peace is not something that we ever have to look outside of ourselves um, for. It's not something we have to obtain or buy because he actually already gave us um, his hope and peace when he gave us his Holy Spirit. And then he was saying um, that the second reason that God is the God of all hope is because he's actually the object of our hope as well. Um, multiple times in scriptures, it talks about how God is our portion and therefore we can hope in him, that he's the rock on which we build our lives. And because he will not fail and he cannot fail us, he actually is the object of our hope. So I just pray today that the God of all hope will fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in him so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit as you go out or stay in today and be the blessing. Till next time, Katie.